Hey guys, Ozisava here. Today I've loaded us into Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 and I'm going to be showing you how we load, create and save custom camera views in the aircraft. So I've got us in the inner builds. Airbus 320 is one of my favorite Airbuses actually. It's just so simple. Um, we go to keyboard and we go down to camera. Right, we click on cockpit camera. Now to move around inside the cockpit, you press shift w a s d to go forward backward left and right and then q and e to go up and down okay so there we go increase height decrease height shift w a s d as shown over here we can change them if we want i'm going to keep it how it is on default and now i want to change load custom camera view so i want to change that to number lock zero key because i want to use my numpad i don't want to use the f1 like it says in shift one two three it's too much more buttons to press so i'm going to change that to zero it should tell us to create a new profile yep i'm going to say my general profile okay uh, let me name this actually to custom camera views oh backspace does something that we don't want it to but we know what profile we've made it i want to get rid of these and I want to change this to one. Oh, I think we have to delete this one first. Deassign. Okay. And let's go back. Number one. This one I'm going to deassign to delete it. Go back. And then number two. Deassign. It's a, it's a long process. Go back. <laughs> Custom camera scan cancel. Make sure it says scan in, otherwise it's not going to scan. So number lock three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. All right, now to save custom camera view, I want to change this to right control and then to whatever number view we want. So custom zero is going to be right control zero. So right control and zero. Oh, well, we have to press them together. Right control zero. Right, we're going to delete this one. Right control one. Oh, I should be a lot quicker. Right control four. Right control five. Right control six. Right control seven, right control eight, and right control nine. And I'll go back once this is done. Okay, so we're going to set our aircraft view. So we're going to use Shift D to go right, S to go back, W to go forward, A to go left, and Q to go down, E to go up, right? Now, first thing I want to do. If you want to look upwards, you press I and K to look down. So I want to go down, I'm trying to get the overhead panel as good as I can get. That's probably as good as I need it. So I'm going to press right control five to say that. No, right control eight because eight on the number pad is forward. If we're looking at the number pad like a plane, like four being left, six being right, two being behind us, eight being in front. And then I want to have one of the console panel below us. So I'm going to press right shift and K to look down. Okay, now we need to go higher up. So I'll press E and then we'll adjust it to my liking. I want to be able to see the squat code. That'll be good enough for me. So I'm going to press right control five to save that. So when I'm on VATSIM and I need to put a squat code in, I'll just press five on a number lock and bam, bam, bang. Here we go. Now, if you want to reset, I think it is shift and spacebar. Here we go. Yep, shift spacebar resets. So again, right shift D. I want to turn around, so I'll press L. You get to turn around, and I want to walk through the cabin. And K to look down. I want to open this door, and let's walk right through. It does it does take a long time to walk. It reminds me of when you're trying to board the plane and. Um, someone's walking really slowly in front of you and you're like come on 
I ain't got all day. Or if it's like an old person, like a grandma or something, and you're just like, oh, go on, you can take all the time in the world. I'll just slowly wait patiently behind you until you get comfortable. But anyway, we're going at a snail's pace here, just walking down the cabin. I want to go to seat 23 so we can see it out of the left window to get a nice wing view. Um, the view would be of the uh, flaps and the trailing edge. So 23 is just here. Uh, here. L and I will just adjust accordingly. Q to go down. There we go. We can see out the window. W to go forward. And we'll try and line this up. So if I'm a passenger looking out the window, I don't know why how these flicker in. It's super annoying the bugs in this. Is that a good enough view? Do I have to turn it this way a little bit to center it? Yeah, I would say that's a better view. And I'm going to press right control 4 to save this one. Now let's see if my recalls work. So I'm going to just press, as I saved before, so number pad 5 should go to the console. Yep, 8 should go to the overhead panel. 4 should go back to the window. Perfect, we got this all working. Now I'm going to, to my preferences, to my liking, I'm going to go and set some views on this aircraft. So I'll try and speed this up for you. Right, now let's test our number recall. So we got 5, 4, 6, 1, 3, 2, and 0, 9, 7, and 8. Perfect, this is exactly how I want it. Right, there's another way of doing this. If you cannot get out of your aircraft, for example, if I go... For some reason it's letting me do it, but not always does it. So I will go up to little camera sign cockpit pilot and then if you go to is it not pilot yeah co-pilot it jumps outside the aircraft and that way if you have a problem exiting the aircraft using shift w a s d buttons this is another workaround and then you can set the views that way all right because i know a lot of third party aircraft it's even harder to exit the aircraft but for this one i can just jump straight through <laughs> And that doesn't look like me. Oh, that is the character I set. Oh, he does look like me. <laughs> I would wear I would wear something like this. All right. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, like and subscribe. Um, I'll be doing some future live streams of Microsoft Flight Simulator when we got VATSIM compatibility. And I will be testing my Mini Fisa and FCU with those. But please stay tuned. Thank you very much. And see ya.